Historians are trained to put their studies into broad and bigger picture, and so I decided to try to put the Lubbock Lake landmark into the larger Llano Estacado. Here is an example of almost continuous human occupation for some 12,000 years. For centuries, there was a, a 10 acre lake approximately at Lubbock Lake site, 1910s, 1920s, and 30s especially. Then, wells were being sunk. People in Lubbock got their water through private wells. Farmers in the region sunk down wells. The water table dropped. Eventually, the water table dropped below the level of the springs. In the early 1930s, the city of Lubbock wanted to reopen what they thought were clogged up springs. They didn't understand, apparently, that the water table had dropped below the springs. Using Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal money, especially the Works Progress Administration, to dig the silt out of the bottom of the uh, Lubbock Lake area, where as that dirt piled up, that young kids, as they would, 15-year-old boys and so on, they played around in those dirt piles and discovered then uh, Folsom points, uh, you know, point, arrow points, and brought them to William Curry Holden. Lubbock Lake site's important because of the water that was there. It attracted animals, which in turn attracted humans. It became a crossroads community because of the water. I, I want them to see that uh, here is a history of the Lubbock Lake site. I, I, I want them to understand that here is one of the few places in the United States where humans have lived almost continuously for 12,000 years. I want them to get a picture of how the Anuestacado was created.